You got the big hair going on. The big on. hair. I got yeah. the flat hair going yeah. on today. Well, honey, you know, we balance if you put the two of us together. Things happen. Your hair looks good. Thank you. It's nice and up there. You know those lizards that have like those necks that kind of when they want to scare people, they go. Yeah, yeah. That's what my hair is like today, <laughs> I think. It's my. Get voice. away. Yes. Now, you're doing well. Yeah. You look good. Thank you. Designing Women, favorite episode? The reunion. Yeah. The birth. The, the, Gotta yeah, be. the reunion. They shoot fat women, don't they? That one. So good. And you at the yep. podium? Me at the podium. Bro broke everyone's heart. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Oh, you've done my own little odd little dieting programs. No kidding. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. Did you do acupuncture? Yes, I did, but not for that. I did it for my lower back pain. Oh, well, see, I walked around. I had them puncture my ears. That didn't do any good. But the big one, the Would really, you? I can't believe I did this. When Would I was going know? to drama school in London, I went to this spa place, and they would lay me out on this table and paint my whole body in hot wax, <laughs> turn me over, paint the other side, wrap me all up in hot blankets, heating blankets and stuff, put hot lamps on me, and leave me there for like, you know, 45 minutes. And what did it like, do? It was like roasting a chicken. And it was to lose it weight? It was supposed to make me lose weight. I thought I was going to die. I mean, that, that's sort of like a torture thing, you know? It makes you go crazy because stuff starts to leak all over, you know, under oh, that wax. that can't be good. Oh, no, no. no. But I did that. I did that. In London, you went to drama school? Yeah. No, Southern girl in London, how'd you fit in there? Well, that's kind of funny, actually. Was it? Because <laughs> when I showed up, it was right from when I was doing Miss Florida. I was Miss Florida. And I showed up. I had my nice little, you know, page boy do. Yeah. The shoes that matched the outfit, you know, right. full face and all this. And then, then I, I kind of found my new look when I was there. Oddly, not unlike what I am wearing today, with all black. All black. All black. With, and I had long hair, big wild hair, and a big black hat, and <clears throat> a cloak with a train to it, and a cane, a walking stick with a sword inside. And I'd walk down the street like this. For what reason? Because it was fun. It was fun. <laughs> yeah. And you could sweep around, you know. You just got a whole new oh, look yeah. there. Oh, yeah. And, you, and, you know, people don't mess with you half as much when you're dressed like that. I'll they, bet. They would hum the Batman theme occasionally. But that was pretty much it. And I could sweep along in the fog, you know? Yeah. But when I, then I went to L.A. And there's no fog to sweep around in. No. And there's no sweeping to be done, basically, because you have to get in and out of a car. You know, and it ruins the whole thing. You're, like, getting in the car and yeah, grabbing the, the cape snug. and getting the cape in, you know. How'd not... your family like it? Did you show, back, show up back oh, yeah. at home in the cape? Oh, yeah. I got off the airplane with the whole works. Whole works. And a little, a little girl said, Mommy, Mommy, it's a witch! And, <laughs> and which I kind of like, you know, because <laughs> my family, we, we always admired Morticia Adams, the Adams family, that whole thing. So. Oh, yeah. She was a role model for you. Well, Mother didn't know this, but she was. She was, yes, yeah. But, but she was surprised I came back that way. How is Mother? Mom's good. Now, I understand that Mom sent me some shellacked Easter eggs. Yes. They never arrived, Delta. Mom's saying she sent them. Who? I can't tell my... I said, Mom, are you sure you sent them? She said, yes. Delta was here last time. She told me, you shellac everything. Yeah. What do you shellac? Dinner rolls. Dinner rolls. Oh, well, last time I took rolls back from... You had them in the, in the dressing room. I said, these are some fine-looking rolls. And took them with me. Yeah. To shellac. Yeah. I mean, to me, you know, a roll is a piece of art. Sure. Some of them. Yeah. Right? Uh-huh. And everything's a piece of art. Just everything. You can just shellac any of this stuff. Any of my toys you could any shellac? Of it. You just save it. Shellac. Yeah. What about my Betty Rubble? Well, you could shellac Betty Rubble, but, you know, but now this would be this little hoo-ha here. That's something to shellac. You for. want to shellac a couche? Yeah. All right. We could do that. Well, I want you in the next segment to shellac with me because gonna... you told me this last time I didn't believe you. You showed up at my house with the, some of the actually shellac items. Yes, I'm going to, I want to teach you the joys of shellacking. And I was really impressed with your shellacking ability. Can yes, I say that? Yes, well, thank you. Because it'll impress you. You know, you'll get kind of crazy with it. And you're a person that kind of leans towards that anyway. You know? Just Insanity? Give you, yeah, give you something to go with. Right. Yeah. So I figure, you know, once I turn you on to shellacking... Well, you saw my scrapbook at my house, I know, remember? A little I meticulous, know. wasn't it? Every day. I have the same book, though. You do. That's... See, we're so odd. We're so strange. I have the same exact book, but... Now, I liked how you did yours, though. Yeah. I just kind of write in mine, like, a journal or something, or mm -hmm. draw pictures. Not I, me. I like. You had doodads in there. That was... I thought, that's very... I wanted to do that. But I can't... I can't seem to pull it off. You like know what you. you need, Delta? access to a color Xerox machine. Well, see, I don't have that. You go to Kinko's. <laughs> okay. You take your photographs okay. that are reminiscent of the day. Okay. You Xerox them at Kinko's. You cut them exactly right. And perhaps put a little paper frame if you need to. See? This is why you'd be perfect for shellac. All right. Well, then you know what? Enough. We're going to shellac details. after the break. Me Everything. and Delta, don't go away. We'll teach you, the home viewer, how to shellac. <laughs> Delta Burke, queen of shellacking.
Now, Delta, what do we, the home audience, pretty much shellac virgins, what do we need to have in order to do this? Well, you need your shellacking equipment, so you need your big, that's a gooey, dippy stuff. Okay, you okay. get it at a hardware yes. store. It's and just called shellac, yes. clear. There yes. it is. Shellac, very basic. Look, this one and is And different kinds by. of brushes, see? Because it depends on how big you're shellacking something. Okay, what are we shellacking first? Well, uh, first, I just want to show you, this is what I started off with. This is what I sent you. Yeah. And uh, this baby took so many coats of shellac because it's sugar and it sucks it up. Now, wait, is that already shellac? It's not shellac. I was no, going to say, no. it doesn't look shiny see, no, enough to be no. shellac. You start, well, you got to get some goo going here. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. you, and you have to shellac. And you got to slowly build up. You see how that, that works there? There's not, you just see that first coat? Oh, yeah. Well, think how many you got to put on there to get that baby all shiny. And you shellac me a whole I shellac the whole, the inside was shellac everything. And it was just lost. Someone but. has stolen our shellac Easter egg, and I will not rest until I get <laughs> yeah, to the end you of gotta it. Get, we, no, do we have a finished one to show everyone? No, because it got lost. Oh, all right. We'll do but it you know next what? I'm what? taking these with me. I'm going to shellac them. I'm going to bring them back. OK, great. Now, is that actually the first thing that you thought, geez, I need to yeah, shellac yeah. that? Yeah, well, it was sitting around. It was Easter, and I thought, you know, that's really nice looking. Yeah. And, you know, why can't it be preserved? Sure. For future generations. Right. And then I saw, you know what Easter, those little marshmallow bunnies and duckies? Peeps. I know them those. well. Those. Yeah. I saw, well, they look awful cute. Yeah. And I shellacked them, and it, and it took. And then they're like little hard peeps, you know? And th then you can do an Easter display every year with the same stuff. Just bring it back. Just shellac something new and add to it, you know? All right. Shellac eggs, I shellac eggs. For people who are at home who are thinking, I don't know if I want a shellac, I recommend buying one of the sugar Easter eggs and just looking at it like Delta did. See? And all of a sudden you could see think, the art mm, in everything. Art, shellac, you know, permanent. It's like, look here, look here, look at the foodstuffs. Look. You see? Yeah. Now, now, look at it. That is a beautiful piece of work. Look at that. That's nice. That's, That's like gorgeous. a pound cake with That's the ice. That's gorgeous. You gonna shellac that? But this, you oh. see. I was gonna take a little bite of that, but you know. You gotta. Now, you actually shellac the food. Oh, yeah. All right, I want to shellac too. I shellac too. it. Don't, you know, don't the be thing hogging is, the shellac. No, delta. we shellac. Start to, so I I'm want to shellac them too. That what you do is you start off, and it's going to be like this one coat, and you think, oh, big deal. But yeah. you let that coat harden, you keep putting coats on there. Now, the look lacquer, what I'm doing. I'm making a decorative coats. little thing of this. Yes. You know, this picture happened to be on my desk. And, um, well, now. You have to think, what do you, what do you want to do this with? I want to do a couple of things. Wait, now wait. what? Mm -hmm. you, yeah. could, you could take this yeah. mm -hmm. on one side. Yeah. Give me this. On one side, you do that. Yeah, that'd be my you Tommy. You that up mm -hmm. there and you shellac it. That wouldn't on be bad. On the other side, you, do like, you could do like a little collage. Of, of many the, Tommies. Of many Tommies. Mm. Or you could do many Tommies all over. Okay, now where do you get these things? At any like decorative shellacking store? Yes, yeah. yes. Oh gosh, I forget the name of the store. Jimmy's shellacking. I'm going to shellac Tommy right on the top of this okay. box. And then I'm going to keep but things. But wait, 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 wait. First, you got to glue. Well, Delta, you didn't tell me one well, thing about gluing. Well, you know, gluing. you didn't. Look. You did not you, mention you gluing to me. Oh, well, you, because you... Careful, there's shellac behind you. <laughs> because you now, just look, were doing... Now, look, can I tell you something? When you do your scrapbook like I do at home... Oh, you know it better than what? I recommend rubber cement. Oh, we'll see. A thin Living coat learn. on the back of the photograph <laughs> and a thin coat on the paper you're applying to. Make sure they're both fully dry before... And that's adhesive. better? That's better? Yes. Okay, well, I'll, I'll okay. take a note and try that. Sorry, Tommy, I'm about to get you all wet. <laughs> but it's worth it. In no the end, way. it's worth it. Look. Yeah, yeah. Don't you kind of bond with them when you do that? I mean, because you're really <laughs> focusing and you don't want to get bubbles, so you want to be really careful with them. Did I do it wrong? No, you didn't do it wrong. I just, got some bubbles on Tommy's head. Wait. In your... <laughs> yeah. Delta, do this without a bubble and show me. Look how many no, bubbles no, no, I no, have. No, 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 no. Oh, I See, feel look, bad look. about the no, bubbling. Stop it. Stop it. I feel bad. See, look, they're getting better already. The what? bubbles are getting better. See, now you there's didn't no bubbles. Tell me the there's bubble no bubbles. rule until look. I already <laughs> applied. There's no bubbles All now. All right. You like that? It's enjoyable. And you can spend many hours at home doing this. All right, do we have it now? Now, if you want, you, could, you could, I don't know if you want to, so I'm not gonna mess up your Tommy, but Go ahead, yeah. you could take these, you could like do a little bit around there, a little okay, frame, and give it some sparkles. Do a little heart. If you wanted to do that. A little, little artistic, see, look at that. And, and then, and oh, that's very good, very good. Thank you, Delta. Very good. Now that's gonna be, that's gonna be something when it's done. Now you let these dry a little, you see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, and then once it dries, then you should keep shellacking over it. Oh, really? Yeah, How many coats would you say? Until you are the, satisfied. Until I'm satisfied. Because you can make it really thick, you know, but don't do it yet, they're not stuck. Oh, I can't do it yet. Just wait, just You know, there's a, a lot meantime, of rules to this. In the meantime, yeah. I did this for you. 
It's you just a little shellac. You shellac my potato chips? There you go. You know, just last week I was thinking to myself, if only I had a potato chip necklace. <laughs> and now Delta Burke has arrived and saved the day. The other thing, yeah. it always helps yeah. if you wear a tiara. Wear a tiara? Wearing a tiara helps everything. <laughs> While you're shellacking? Especially when one is shellacking. All righty. From Delta Burke, the queen of shellacking, happy shellacking America! Yeah. <laughs>